What's up, y'all? My name is Kyle, and I sell old used junk on eBay, and I send books into Amazon. Of course, if you guys have been watching, y'all already know that, but if you're new, that's what I do. That's my job. I go to thrift stores, garage sales, and estate sales, and I find old crap that people don't want anymore, and I flip it online for a profit. Today, we are going inside of the store that shall not be named, aka Greedy Will. We're gonna go in a few uh, greedy wheels and see what we can find. All right, y'all, we are out of there after two and a half hours, and we're going to jump in here and get a burger and a beer. Little Hat Creek Burger Company. All right, you guys, I am already back at my house, and I've actually unloaded everything right here in front of my garage. And we are going to do a quick breakdown right here. But first, I wanted to explain something. I've been wanting to try this for a long time, and the title is a little bit deceiving, but I went into one thrift store right when it opened and uh, at 9 o'clock, and I stayed till about 12 o'clock in that one thrift store, and I just waited on new bins to be pushed out and new racks of clothing. Okay, so every time they would wheel out something new, I would go through it. I did one sweep of the entire store, as soon as I got there, you guys, I went to what I consider to be the best um, greedy wheel in my area. And I just basically sat there. And it was okay at first. And then it got a little bit awkward when the workers started asking me, hey, man, you're going to buy the whole store or what? But, you know, it's kind of funny. Um, anyway, you guys, I did end up picking up a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, it's not always like this by any means and it's always relevant to your area uh, I don't want to tell you that you can go to your local uh, thrift store and do the same thing you might be able to you might not it's relevant to where you live and what kind of stuff gets donated but we're gonna flip around here and do a quick breakdown and see how much money I made I spent hundred and twenty nine dollars in that thrift store three of the items were for my wife so they don't necessarily count uh, toward my business but they were in the total price I think I actually spent about hundred and ten dollars to resell so let's see what we got here one last thing you guys I forgot to mention obviously I did not video the whole time I was in there I was in there for like four hours who's gonna watch a four-hour video no one okay if I videoed the whole time I was in there nobody will watch the video so what I did was I just videoed a little bit here and there, a couple of items I picked up, and then I'll show you guys everything that I bought. Uh, you can either trust me that I actually bought it in there, or you don't. You know, whatever. It's up to you. Let's do the breakdown. All right, you guys, right here, Briggs and Riley luggage, always very good to pick up. I paid $7.49 for the Briggs and Riley bag, and I think that I can list that for $75. 
the Prince Tour Racket Diablo. I paid $4.29 for, and I also think that I can list that for $75. I've talked about these before in other videos. Wearing Pro Waffle Makers. This is the cheapest of the brands right here. I paid $9.59 for it, but it's also the smallest, which is kind of nice. And I think I can list this for $40 plus the buyer pay shipping. One of the items that I picked up for my wife a Pyrex dish right here. She collects Pyrex. I paid $5.29 for that, so that'll go in her collection. A really good find that you guys saw right here is a cast iron dish. If you guys have been watching, y'all know that I buy cast iron. The brand is Staub, and it is made in France. Kind of hard to see right there, but I have to hold it. I paid $18.49 for it, and that is totally okay. Um, I think I can list this for $80 plus shipping. You guys, when it comes to cast iron, this is okay. This can totally be fixed and it's not a big deal. The big deal is cracks. That's the only thing that people care about. Rust and um, usage is perfectly fine. You can get rid of that. So that is a very good pickup. I would advise you guys to look for casted iron products. Uh, I paid $10 for this. It is a Body Boss workout thing that is for my wife as well she wants to try to get back into shape apparently that she's not in shape although i think she is but she wants to get in better shape okay a lionel super chief right here for nine dollars and 59 cents all the pieces are there and i opened it up i think that at worst i think i could list this for 75 dollars plus the buyer pay shipping now a whole Ikea bag full of clothes here. And we will go through all of them, you guys. Y'all did see Patagonia swim trunks. Three pair for $4.99 each. There's one pair. There's a red pair. There is a pink pair. And I can list each one of those for, I think, $25 plus shipping, or I could do $30 free shipping, but we'll call it $25. This is, oh, the other item for my wife, a Vineyard Vines t-shirt, new with the tags on it. $5 for that. Here we had some Patagonia just khaki style shorts right here men's size 34 6.99 i think i can also put 25 bucks on those more patagonia right here patagucci if you guys watch the college picker you find a lot of this stuff where i live xxl these are like the uv shirts they're in really good shape the back of them have the big print on them for like swimming uh, in the ocean or in the pool or whatever if you don't want to get sunscreen five dollars a piece for these And I can list them for 25 I had two of those a pair of Lulu lemon shorts right here 499 for those and I can list those for 25 also a pair of cool shorts All right Picking back up before my kids came out here, we have a pair of cool shorts for $4.99. I think I can get $25 for those also. Also a pair of Howler Bros shorts for $4.99. Swim trunks. You guys, if you haven't started buying swim trunks and shorts, you probably need to do so. It's just in preparation. Another pair of swim trunks, Patagonia. Patagucci, $6.99 for those, $25 also. And then a pair of new with tags, Levi's 502 Chinos, $5.99. I think I can put $25, $30 bucks on them because they're new with tags. That's the only reason I bought those. A Birds of Texas field guide to send to Amazon. And I think this was like a $9 or $10 profit book. You guys, these field guides I find do pretty well. I, All the ones that I've found are pretty good profit. And then last down here, a pair of HS 
Trask. Penny loafers. Penny loafers right there. For $9.49. This one says $10, but I got it for $9.49. Only reason I bought these, you guys, is because they are new also and they've never been worn. I think I can get $35 for those. All right, you guys, that is it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you saw something new, learned something you didn't know. Nothing crazy, but still a couple of new brands in there, a couple of ideas that you guys could look for and um, give you guys uh, just some, some more information to uh, grow your business, grow your knowledge. If you guys enjoyed this, please hit the thumbs up for me and I will see y'all next time.